everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to today's episode of Baby Name Sunday. Today's list I'm actually going to be piggybacking on last week. So today will be the boys version of some vintage nicknamey names for boys. A lot of these names, there is something for everyone. If you're wanting to honor someone in your family, someone special, we have unique, we have trendy, we have cool, we have edgy, and honestly, we have it all. So if you guys haven't already subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification just beside it so you guys are notified every single time I upload a new names list, which I upload every single Sunday. I'll have the girls version of this list linked down in the description. I did it last week. Tons of one wonderful names there and this one will also be a speed round list so I'll be getting through them very quickly it's about 50 names for boys so let's get into it all right so to start this list off I have the name Raffi so R-A-F-I definitely a trendy option recently and it's a great honorary name for either a Raphael or a Rafik Rafik R-A-F-I-Q and it's actually derived from both Arabic and Spanish roots meaning friend companion gentle and kind. Next, I have this sweet name, Hue, spelled H-U-E. I love this spelling as it gives a little bit of a unique flair right now, as Hue with that G-H ending is quite trendy. And this one's derived from the name Hubert. So adorable. Honestly, I would totally go for Hubert as a whole. I think it's so sweet, which is a German originated name meaning bright, shining intellect. I have a short two letter name here next, and that's the name Oz, spelled O-Z. Oz. And this one's a short form of the name Oswald, and it's both Hebrew and English originated, meaning strength, divine power, and courageous. Something a little bit more peppy on the list here, and this name actually falls into my own personal family tree, and it's the name Fritz, spelled F-R-I-T-Z, Fritz. So this one's a short form of the German name Frederick, and Frederick means peaceful ruler. Another vintage option here on the list is the name Lou. Spell L-O-U, Lou. Now you see this quite frequently over on the girl side. It's a short form of like Louise, but I love this as a short form of like Louis or Louis, which are both French and German originated, meaning renowned warrior. Next one here, trendy option for you guys. I have the name Augie, spell A-U-G-I-E, Augie. Yes, this one is the short form of August, which I feel it has made its way over to that gender neutral spot there. It can work for absolutely anyone and Augie as that nickname, or you can go straight for Augie and it's a German originated name meaning great and magnificent. Next up, I have the name Sly, spelled S-L-Y, Sly, short form of Sylvester, which was actually Actually on my very first names video. So it's Latin originated meaning wood and forest. So it has nature elements behind it. Sylvester. I think that is such a handsome name or you can go straight for Sly. Super cute option here next. I have the name Buddy. So B-U-D-D-Y. Buddy. Now this one was actually quite frequently used in the past and it's actually just an English nickname meaning good friend. We have a French inspired name here next and that's the name Chevy. So C-H-E E V Y Chevy. Now this is short for the French surname Chevalier, which means horseman or a knight. Next, I have the name Rock, spelled R O C K, short form for Rocco. And this one's both obviously a nature name, but it's also an Italian from German name meaning rest. All right, so switching up the vibe here, I have the name Artie, spelled A-R-T-I-E, Artie. This one is a diminutive of the name Arthur, which is a Celtic originated name with animal inspiration, meaning bear. Next is the name Jem, spelled J-E-M. I thought this was a really unique name for a boy, and it's actually one of the main characters in the novel To Kill a Mockingbird, but it's a diminutive of the name James, meaning supplanter. We have a herb name here next, and that's the name Baz, spelled B-A-Z, Baz. A little bit more edgier as well, and it's derived from both the name Sebastian and Basil, meaning regal falcon, so another animal-inspired name, and then obviously a herb name. We have the name Jaunty, spelled J-O-N-T-Y. This one's one of my favorites on the list. It's a diminutive of the name Jonathan, which means gift of Jehovah. Another peppy name here, just like Pippa, we have for the boy side, Pip. Pip, spelled P-I-P, 
Pip. It is short form of the name Philip, which is an English originated name meaning lover of horses. Next, I have the name Till, spelled T I L L, Till. This one, I did not know it was a short nicknamey version of the name Theodoric, which is super handsome with that R-I-C ending, Theodoric, and it's a German originated name meaning people's ruler. Man, lots of strong names with strong meanings with a little bit of nature to them. So another nature inspired name here, I have the name Brom, spelled B-R-O-M, Brom. Love this one as well. Short form of the name Bromley, and it's English originated meaning meadow where brooms grow. Okay. I feel like Pip should have a brother named Bing, spelled B-I-N-G, Bing. Now this is a short form of the British surname Bingham, which means homestead at the hollow. Okay, another sibling name here that I feel fits perfectly with the name Hugh, we have a little brother named Howie, spelled H-O-W-I-E. Howie. So this one's the short form of obviously Howard and it's a German or English originated name meaning high guardian or brave heart. Next I have the name Rolly. So R-O-L-L-I-E. Yes, Rolly. Now this one's the short form of the name Roland which is a German originated name meaning famous throughout the land. I have the name Tad or Thad. So T-H-A-D. And this one's the short form of Thaddeus which is an Aramaic name meaning gift of God. We have an O ending name here next, and that's the name Lauro. Spell L-A-U-R-O, Lauro. Like how handsome can you get? This one is a diminutive of the name Lawrence, which means person from the ancient city of Laurentium. Next, I have the name Wally, spelled W-A-L-L-Y, Wally. This one is diminutive of the name Walter, which is a German name meaning army ruler. Something a little bit more Unique again with an O ending is the name Maso, spelled M A S O, Maso. Or you could do Meso if you want, but it's a short form of the Italian name Tommaso, which is a variant of Thomas, meaning twin. I have the name Bo, so B O, Bo. I love the spelling of this one, just short, sweet, and simple, very minimal, and it's a Norse nickname meaning to live. I have the name Aro, or you can do Aro, so A R O. This one is a great honorary name for the name Aaron, and it's a Finnish originated name meaning high mountain, exalted, and enlightened. One of my favorite vintage names is the name Milton. Now, a nicknamey variation of Milton is the name Mitt. Spell M-I-T-T, -T, or you can do Mitty, M-I-T-T-Y. And these ones are both English originated, meaning settlement with a mill. Next two options here make great honorary names for an Alexander in the family. So first off, I have a genderless option, which is the name Sandy. Spell S-A-N-D-Y, Sandy. So you have that Alexander, you have that Andy kind of in it. And just like Alexander, this one also means defending men. And then for something a little bit more edgier with that X at the beginning, I have the name Zan. Spell X-A-N, Zan. And again, this one also means defending man. Switching it up here again, I have the name Vinny. Spell V-I-N-N-I-E, Vinny. Now this one's a short form of the name Vincent, which is a Latin originated name meaning conquering. I have another option here that gives off the same vibe as Mitt or Mitty. I have the name Cliff or Cliffy, so it's C-L-I-F-F, and you can do Cliffy with a Y. Now these ones are both short forms of the name Clifford, which is so adorable. And this one's an English originated name, meaning cliff near the ford. Then next to here, very similar, I have the name Moss or Mossy. Spell M-O-S-S -S or Mossy with a Y. Now these are both derived from the name Mosley, which is a place name meaning peat bog or mouse clearing. Next name here is actually a very trendy option recently. It's been rising on the charts, especially over in the UK. I have the name Alby, spell A-L-B-I-E, Alby. Now this one's short for the name Albert, so wonderful honorary name. Another German originated name too, meaning noble and bright. Something a little bit more futuristic in sound, I have the name Jens, 
So J-E-N-Z, Jens. Now this one's actually the short form of the unique name Jennings, which is actually a surname. It's a Flemish surname meaning Little John. So if you have a John as a father or John's maybe a name that really is special in the family that's just carried down. Next we have the name Emmer, spelled E-M-E-R, short form of the name Emerson, which is a German originated name meaning son of the industrious one. Another option here, I have the name Chess, spelled C-H-E-S-S, -S, Chess, which I find a really cool name. It's actually short for the name Chester, which is Latin originated meaning fortress or walled town. All right, so just like Sylvester that I had on my very first names video, I actually had this name as well, but I didn't have the short form. So this is the name Dex, spelled D-E-X, Dex, and this one is a great honorary name for the name Dexter, which is Latin originated, meaning dire or right-handed. I have the name Frey, spelled F-R-A-Y, Frey. I can totally see this as a little beach boy, little coastal town baby's name. And this one's short for the name Fraser, which is Scottish from French originated, meaning strawberry. Getting down the list here, next one here is the name Dossie, spelled D-A-W, S-E-Y, Dossie. Great honorary name for the name Dawson, which is a Welsh originated name meaning son of the beloved one. Next is the name Bernie, spelled B-E-R-N-I-E, -E, Bernie. I think this is too cute, Bernie. Those I-E ending vintage names here are really like pulling my heartstrings. And this one's a short form of the name Bernard, which is also a German originated name meaning strong and brave as a bear. I love those meanings. Meanings. I think those are just so handsome and another bear meaning actually is in the next name as well So this is the name Benno spelled B-E-N-N-O Benno now this one here is actually a name on its own It's German meaning bear, but I feel like it's such a great honorary name for a Benjamin or a Ben in the family Next I have the name Joss spelled J-O-S-S -S, Joss this one's actually a genderless option because it's derived from the name Jocelyn Which could be used for absolutely anyone and it's German and originated meaning the merry one so a bright and happy little baby number 43 on the list I have the name link spell l-i-n-k link I personally love this name as its own it's derived from the name Lincoln which is English originated meaning town by the pool next one here on the list I have the name Rico spell r-i-c-o Rico this one also is so fun so peppy and just gives me this omen of like a bright heart and it's a short form of the name Ricardo which is Portuguese and Spanish originated derived from the name Rich Richard, meaning dominant ruler. Speaking of the name Richard, another diminutive of Richard is the name Moby. So M-O-B-Y. Moby. Oh, I love this. It's a great literary name as well. And then that brings me to my next name, which is the name Kier, spelled K-I-E-R, Kier. Now this one's a derivative of the name Kieran, which is an Irish originated name, meaning little dark one. Okay, so for this next one, I think the longer form of this name, like one of the options here, is so amazing for a boy. So short form, nicknamey name here is the name Audie, spelled A-U-D-I-E, Audie. And these ones can both be short form of the name Edward, but also the name Autumn. Imagine Autumn for a little boy. I think that is just so handsome and so sweet. And if you are honoring an Edward in the family, Edward is an English originated name, meaning wealthy guardian. All right, so we're down to the last four names here on the list. So next option here on the list is the name Tice. So T-Y-S, Tice. Now this one's the short form of the name Tyson, which is the English originated name, meaning firebrand. Then I have the name Lars, so L-A-R-S. Lars. I think this one is totally unisex as well. It could be a short form of the name Lauren or it's a short form of the name Larson, which is a Scandinavian originated name meaning crowned with laurel. I have the name Wilby, spelled W-I-L-B-Y, Wilby. This one makes my cheeks like want to smile all the time. And it's the diminutive of the name Wilbur, which is German originated meaning resolute and brilliant. Then that brings me to my very final name on this nicknamey vintage inspired boys name list and that's the name Ro spelled R-O 
Ro. I love this as a short form of the name Rohan, which is a Hindi originated name meaning sandalwood. So handsome. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely list of vintagey nicknames for boys. If you guys missed the girls list of this video, I'll have that link down in the description. And make sure you guys comment down below what your favorite vintage name is or a name that you are looking maybe to modernize. If you're wanting to honor someone in the family, let me know in the comments below and maybe I will do some more future videos here for those special people in your life. So again, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I hope you guys are staying safe. Have a lovely rest of your Sunday and I'll talk to you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. Bye.